So the takeaway message from all of these activities though, I think there's some just key, key points that I'll quickly summarise for you. Remembering you're going to need to identify your purpose and your audience straight up today. So really take a little bit of careful time and planning to think about those two things. Then once you start developing your resource that you will produce by the end of today's session, think about the things that you've talked about with me today. What sort of language have you used? What sort of jargon have you used? And by doing that, what sort of assumptions have you been making about your audience as you go? How are you going to balance your text with your images and or animation if you're building videos or websites and things? Does it suit the audience to have that, dif that different balance? Okay. So a few key things, it's all there on the little handout and I believe it will be on the little handouts on Ucrew as well so you can refer back to that. I hope that's been useful, it's been a little bit longer than expected so apologies to Karen and, and to the rest of you for that but hopefully it has helped you to think about some of the key things today when you, you go off now and do your, do your product that you're going to create. So enjoy, have a good day. For the remainder of today, both in this morning sessions, but this morning session, but also in this afternoon, we're going to work through this week's exercise. Okay, so uh, as I mentioned last week, it, it is quite dif different to what we've been doing previously. So I have dropped the exercise notes around on your tables, but of course, it's also available on the companion side if you want to use the soft copy. All right. So basically, your brief for today is that you need to come up with some sort of resource that explains, educates, whatever your exact purpose is going to be, something about a remote sensing topic that you are interested in. Okay, So you might choose to educate high school students about the use of remote sensing for coral bleaching. You might choose to brief your CEO about how you're going to use remote sensing for looking at burnt area mapping. You might like to explain how you do vegetation survey and how that relates to remote sensing. Okay, the topic that you choose is totally up to you guys and the actual purpose and audience is also up to you. So in your, in your workout sheet, you've got the option to choose your audience, some suggested topics, but please don't limit yourself to those. Um, the purpose of what you're going to do and the present presentation style. Okay, so in your pre-class activity you looked at a number of different presentation styles and I also created a scoop it page to show you some more, diff some more other types of presentation styles as well. So the key thing for you guys to think about is how you're going to play to your strengths. Okay, can someone tell me what a strength is? Okay, what you're good at, so a personal asset, anything else? Something you're not bad at. Something you're not bad at? Okay, answering that question is probably not your strength. <laughs> Alright, so it's half of it. Alright, your strength is definitely something that you're good at, okay, but that's just a talent, alright? The strength part of it is that it has to be something that you're passionate about as well. Okay, so it's not your strength if you're just passionate about it, okay, if you really love it. I love dancing, I'm so bad at it, certainly not my strength, okay. I'm good at maths, don't love it, not my strength, okay. I think I'm okay at remote sensing, I really love it, so that's one of my strengths. Yeah, okay, get the difference? You must have both. So have a think about what you want to create today. If you're an artistic person, you know you love art and you're good at it, maybe you want to create a poster or a brochure, okay? If you like acting, and actually you don't need to be great at it for this. <laughs> maybe you want to do a role play, okay? So you don't have to do this by yourself, okay? This is something you can, you can do by yourself or you can do with a partner, okay? So there's a number of different options. Um, when, you, when you're going through defining what you want to do, who your audience is, what your purpose is going to be, one thing I do want you guys to keep in mind in amongst what your strength is, is that I'm open to anything, okay? I've given you some examples online of some humorous, exa uh, humorous activities, okay? You can be silly, you can be funny, I don't mind. Don't be silly or funny if you define your audience as your CEO though, okay? <laughs> 
doesn't quite work, all right? So just make sure that the style that you choose matches who you're presenting to. Does that make sense? All right, so what I want you guys to do now is to work your way through the table on the, on the front page here to work out who you want your audience to be. Who do you want to pitch to? Do you want to work with kids or your CEO, general public, whatever you like? Okay, think of a suggested topic, okay? You don't need to do one of the ones that's there. Work with something that's good for you, okay? And if it, if it helps you to go through the same topic that you're, or an aspect of it that you're going to work with for your final project, that's also a good option. You already know quite a bit about it. Um, choose your purpose and your presentation style. Okay, and as with everything I always say, do something small and simple, but do it great. Don't go too big and then do a, a poor job of it. 